What's going on guys? Welcome to our brand new series where I'm going to show you how to properly and successfully raise an Australian Shepherd puppy. Now you're probably wondering why am I starting a series now? I already have Winston and he's already over a year old. Well, we have something to announce. Isn't that right, bud? You want to tell them? You want me to tell them? Okay, I'll tell them. We're getting a puppy! So in this series, we're really gonna be focusing on the journey of us raising our puppy. And along the way, we're gonna be answering a lot of the popular questions like, how do you get your puppy to stop nipping? And how do you get them to settle down? How do you get them to walk on lead? All of these questions will be answered in this series. So we're gonna be picking up our puppy tomorrow and by the time you guys are actually watching this video, we're already gonna have her. So if you want a sneak peek at what she looks like, you can head over to our Instagram. I'm probably gonna be posting stories there. But this first video, I really wanna focus on the essential things that you need prior to picking up your puppy. So let's get into it. Obviously you need a food bowl and a water bowl, but I wanna challenge you guys to something. Feed as many meals as you can by hand. By doing so, you're gonna create a strong bond with them. You're gonna increase their food motivation and they're gonna see you as something valuable because their source of food is now coming through you. Trust me, this is gonna help you so much in the long run. Next up, you're gonna have to feed your puppy and I'm gonna be feeding her this bag of kibble over here. Now, before you guys go at me in the comments wondering why I'm feeding her kibble and I'm feeding Winston raw food, even though I think raw food is the better option, it's purely for training purposes, right? I'm gonna be feeding all of her meals by hand. And I think it's just easier to have kibble on me at all times throughout the day rather than having raw food on me, right? Like that's just disgusting, I would never do that. And eventually we're gonna be switching her over into raw when you know I like where she's at with her training, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna give her raw food at all. Like we definitely will, and we will be giving her some pate. Now this is game changer. No, no, it's not a game changer. This is a game changer. What, you do, what I do is I put pate inside the Kong, and then I put the Kong inside the freezer and then it just keeps your puppy busy for a while. It's gonna mentally drain them. So this, guys, if you don't have this, this you really, really, really need to get. Now, if you're wondering what the name brand of this kibble is, it is Origin. Now, I've never used Origin before. Previously, when I did feed kibble to Winston, it was Stella and Chewy, but I read the ingredients on this. There's a lot of good stuff in there, so I highly recommend it. And we're also feeding the uh, Origin Pate to our puppy as well. A lot of great stuff in here. Highly recommend it. Uh, I'm no way affiliated with them. It's just something that I am using. You're also gonna need some treats as a high value reward. So what I use are these beef liver treats. I get them at Costco. Um, they're single ingredients, so they're really good. And I also like to use cheese, right? I find cheese is a really great way to treat your pet because it's smelly. And I find that smelly treats uh, make it even a higher value treat. So don't sleep on cheese. You're also gonna need a collar and a leash. Now this leash specifically is for indoor use only, right? This is gonna be my house line. And the reason why we have a house line is so your puppy doesn't get into things that you don't want them to, or if they were to run away from you for whatever reason, you can grab the leash and bring them back rather than chasing them. Because if you chase them, that can turn into a game and then it's just gonna cause problems later down the road. So house leash, highly, highly recommended. Comb and brush, this is highly recommended. Like it's, you, you basically need it. These dogs are double coated. So you're gonna have to keep up with the brushing and the combing. Cause if not, they're gonna get matted and it's just something that you don't wanna deal with. It's, it's not good for the dog. So you're definitely gonna need these things. Just as some precautionary measures, I highly recommend getting some pee pee pads, a pee pee blanket if you can get, and uh, some wet wipes. Now this is purely just for on the way back when we have our puppy. Um, if she's anything like Winston and if your puppy is anything like Winston, um, they're gonna pee in the car, they're gonna puke in the car. So you just wanna make sure that you are clean on the ride back. For us, it's gonna be a two hour ride. So we just wanna make sure we're okay. Um, I don't recommend using pee pee pads in their everyday life. Uh, it, it'll cause problems when you're actually trying to teach them to go pee outside, right? Right now what you're doing, or if you were to, um, you're teaching your dog that it's okay to do their business inside the house. You don't want that, just take them outside to go pee. Next up, get some toys for your puppy, right? So I have this little giraffe that we'll probably play fetch with. Um, it's actually the same giraffe that I got Winston when he was a puppy. Uh, this is a new one, obviously, but 
Anyway, and um, we have a Tug toy on the way. I think it's supposed to get delivered today. Tug is a great way to get your puppy's energy out and build up their confidence. So get a Tug toy. I don't know who needs to hear this, but get a crate and crate train your puppy. Push through all the whining and push through all the crying because it's gonna help you out in the long run. It's gonna teach them that, hey, when I'm in here, I need to settle down and relax. It's also gonna keep them safe, right? If you have to go outside and you can't bring your puppy with you, putting him in inside a crate will keep them safe. They can't get into things they're not supposed to. They won't chew up the floorboards or rip up your pillows. It's just a great way to manage them. Lastly, I recommend getting some sort of hammock or a bed like what we have over here. Now teaching them place or bed or whatever you're gonna name it is gonna teach them that hey, once I am outside of the crate, it's not always gonna be go time. We're not always gonna be playing. We're not always gonna be eating. Sometimes it's just gonna be, hey, you're just gonna sit on this bed, you're gonna relax, and we're gonna watch some TV. I hope you found this video informational, guys. I can't wait to go pick up my baby girl and start, you know, making videos and just showing you guys how we raise her, and hopefully it will help you guys as well. Um, if you want to see what she looks like, you know, you just head over to our Instagram. I'm going to be posting pictures and, and stories, but I'm aiming to do at least three videos a month, maybe more if times allows it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.